Okay, hello there in Canada. This is a demonstration of how the MG chain shortener from Gunnabo is supposed to work. Right now I'm showing it as attached to the, a chain. This style, they make two styles. This style is designed to attach to the length of a chain, not you don't have to thread it through the chain, okay? So this one can be applied to a chain, a length of chain somewhere along the middle of it without going through the end. Anyway, here's how it's supposed to look applied. Okay. So as it's applied, you should not be able to turn the thumb pins, for lack of a better term. This one turns. Okay. So you turn it 180 degrees and it should spring back and allow and pull the pin and the pin should come back like that and then the chain can come out of the device. Okay, so that's the proper way that's the way it's supposed to work. Turn it 180 degrees, it should snap back against a flat and you should not be able to turn the pin. This particular one I can turn one of the pins quite easily. The other one seems to work pretty well. What's inside, retained by a roll pin, is this pin, this flat, the deeper flat, retains it from coming out of the, out of the device, the roll pin does, along this flat. This smaller flat is supposed to keep it from turning and there isn't much of a flat there. So the other problem that we found is I have an old device here that has a much stronger spring in it than the ones currently being supplied with de the device. So I believe our fix is going to be a combination of a stiffer spring and possibly a little bit of modification right here we're experimenting but right now if you have one that turns quite easily um, please call me and what we may do is send you a stiffer spring and modified retaining pin set pair of them two springs two pins um, once we get our fix dialed in but that's the way this is supposed to work again I hope you have I hope it's warm up there. It's cold down here, so it's probably cold up there too. Have a good day.